Okay, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to start analyzing data using Tableau. So in particular, we're going to run some frequency distributions and bar charts for a categorical variable. And I'm also going to show you how to make a histogram and, um, and adjust the bars on that. Okay, so remember, we have a bunch of people joining a health club, and one of the variables is the, down, is the uh, payment method which we put up here as a dimension, which indicates that it's, um, it's a categorical variable. So let's say we wanted to know how many people in this giant data set of like 25,000 people or so use each of the payment types. So in Tableau, what you're gonna do is drop the variable. So just click on it and drag it over, just drop it in here. And you're gonna see what Tableau wants to do by default is make it um, just a table. Now I can stick anything I want in this column. So if I want a frequency distribution, what I want to do is count the number of records. And you're going to see Tableau has already done that for you. So if I grab this and I go drop it into this column, or I could drop it on text, either one. It's going to do the same thing. Um, it's going to give me counts. So this is telling me that there were about almost uh, 8,000 people paying with book, not, many, not as many people were paying with statement, only about 5,218. Now, let's say we wanted to make a graph out of this. So since it's a categorical variable, um, what we could do is make a bar chart. So to convert this from being a um, uh, you know, frequency distribution to a bar chart, I'm just gonna drag this up to columns. And lo and behold, we have ourselves a bar chart. Now let me just point out a few other um, features. So first off, I can change the sort order by clicking up here. So we can sort from payment, which has the fewest, about 5,000, up to book, which has the most, <coughs> nearly 8,000. You want it sorted in the other way? We'll just click on the other one. Uh, sometimes you don't want this is called a, a horizontal bar chart. If you want a vertical bar chart, just um, hit this one with swaps, the rows and the columns. <coughs> so what you're gonna see is that this and this get interchanged. Okay, so payment type was down here at rows, now it's up here at columns. And you know, you've got a nice little bar chart here. And again, if you wanna play with the, uh, with the order, uh, go for it. If you don't like, um, uh, you know this, you can always come and move this back to label and you have yourself a bar chart again. All right, um, show you one more thing that's somewhat cool, not really, not really necessary to be honest, but if you were to drop this number of records onto label, now you get the uh, labels uh, next to the bars uh, in, in a bar chart. And if you flip it, you get the same thing. Okay. So that's how you make yourself a bar chart. What if you have a numerical variable? How do you make a chart there? So for example, let's study the age variable. Well, um, I'm gonna make myself a new sheet. So the, to do that, we're gonna come down here. If you hit plus, you're gonna get a new sheet. And I'm gonna drag age into the drop field here area, just like we did before. Um, now, what you're going to see is that it's done something we really didn't want it to do. It's, uh, it's, it's assumed I wanted something as text, and it added up the age, which um, I guess the total age of everybody in this data set is 729,000, but that's not really what we want. I want a histogram. So to get a histogram, probably the easiest way is to go up to show me, and you get to choose your graph, and you're going to see, well, let's just do a histogram. So here's a histogram, and we have made it. All right. Now, um, one thing that's kind of strange is that you got all these people down in this lowest, smallest bin um, that are like zero years old. And so how, how can you be zero years old and join a health club? Um, you know, this is a, a health club for adults. So these are probably erroneous values. Um, one more thing about this is, you know, Tableau has picked 
bins for us and you can see it looks like it's chosen a bin width of about maybe six or seven years. Um, sometimes the, I mean it does a great job of choosing these bin widths, but sometimes you want to customize it. So let me go show you how you can customize the bin width. So what we're going to do is come up to, you know, what Tableau has actually done is it's created a new variable, which is age bin, and it's plotting the count uh, on, uh, as, as the uh, row variable. So let's go back to age bin, and we're going to edit this. And what you're going to see is that by default, um, I said that it looked like the bin size was about 7. It's actually 6.74. We can make this whatever we want. So I'm going to make it 1 for now. Go ahead, OK. And so now what we have is actual counts for each individual age. And so you have a ton of members who are joining uh, who are zero years old. In fact, there's 1,142 of them. And you got a couple one-year-olds. You got a bunch of two-year-olds. I think these are all erroneous values. Um, no, no, you know, uh, newborn is going to join your health club. All right. So these are probably people who are not willing to tell you their age and therefore, you know, got coded as zero. So they're probably mistakes. Another thing that I find really kind of strange about this is you got some 79-year-olds and then nothing. There are no 80-year-olds, you know, no 90-year-olds, no 95-year-olds, and then you get the spike of 99-year-olds. That's really suspicious to me. I think these are probably erroneous values too. So in another video, we're going to come back and um, uh, figure out how to get rid of this dirt. You know, this is an example of dirty data. All right, so um, that's how you make a histogram, change the bin width. That's how you make a frequency distribution and a bar chart. Uh, we'll see you again in a few minutes.